everyone, welcome back to Ant Lab Games. Today we're going to play Fleet Arctic Bounty. This is a one to four player card game uh, published by Griffin Games. Uh, I believe this was kickstarted at some point. I didn't get in on it, but um, do enjoy it. So we'll see how this baby plays. So a little bit of backstory on this game. What exactly is it? So it's it's essentially a fishing game in the North Atlantic. So you're going after you know all sorts of different types of fish, but you're competing against other other fishing companies to be the best fishermen in Ridback Bay. So we're gonna go uh, after a maximum of 25 crates of fish. Over however many turns it takes, we're going to have to get licenses to, to launch certain boats to go after certain types of fish and get different bonuses based on what types of fish uh, we're catching uh, to earn victory points. Uh, and we'll go through the whole scoring at the end. So I've got basically the whole setup here. I've got the, um, the corporation card. So I'm going against two different uh, captains from this corporation. So it's Captain TC and Captain Kirkman of the JP DeSantis Fishing Corp. So I've got my own fishing corp. I start with one of each card of each type of fish that we're going to be going after. So we're going to be going after char, uh, swordfish, lobster, Pacific oyster, king crab, tuna, and Canadian DFO. So I guess we're in the North Pacific, not the North Atlantic. Well, either way, we're going after all these fish. So we're going to need to get um, the licenses before we can launch these boats, and then we're going to have to captain the boats, and we'll go through all that as we begin play. So I can leave my hand, you know, face up, and these cards can be used uh, a number of different ways, and we'll go through that when I start the turn. So, without further ado, let's jump into the playthrough, and we'll uh, see how this goes. Alright, so to start, what we're going to do is put out our three available license licenses that are going to be up for auction right so we'll move these guys up out of the way and we've got a tuna license and two char licenses now we're going to have to bid and there's a sort of an ai for bidding on each of these two captains uh, and i get to go first of course um so this is definitely a solitaire variant obviously this does come with the arctic bounty uh, expansion. So not the, the the basic fleet game doesn't have this one player uh, variant. It comes in the second the in the expansion. So and I have just also note that I have uh, licenses are mixed between the two sets, which you can do. So I've got the tuna and two char. Like I said, the minimum bid on these is listed here. So char, for example, is a minimum cost of four. You know, it's going to be worth four victory points, and it's going to give me uh, different bonuses depending on how many of these licenses, you know, I do have. So, like, the first one, you know, for only having one, you know, it's going to let me uh, get a, a launch or a captain bonus of one, you know, one additional. So, that's nice. Um, so, with that, I have to decide what I'm going to do. So, the first sequence in the turn is the auction phase, and you're allowed to purchase one license and licenses as we said the starting bid is four can be paid for with the amount of coins on each of these cards in your hand so this is worth two coins this is worth three coins and I've got to I've got to basically figure out what I'm gonna go after right so how I'm gonna am I gonna go after char am I gonna go after tuna what are the benefits you know uh, tuna is gonna give me some additional card draws you know so that's that's kind of a nice thing to have as, as a draw bonus um, what do I do? Do I go after the char? Since there's a bunch out here. So, like I said, I have one of each in my hand, so at this point it really doesn't matter what I go after. But I want to be specific about what I chase, because I'm going to start burning cards now, and that's never a good thing. So, I think... I think I'm going to go for tuna. I think I'm going to go for tuna. So what I'll do is I'll pay. I'm going to bid. So you have to decide to bid. And these guys are going to get a chance to bid against me. So... I can let, I can pass, right? 
and let these guys go first. And they have, based on the round, they have a, a bid max of five. So what they're going to do is they're going to go after um, a... They're going to go after a, a specific license. So if I... Because if I bid on Tuna, they're going to get a chance to, to bid up. And they, like I said, they have a max of five. So I can just, I can just bid five on this. Actually, the mid cost is five. So that's going to outbid them anyway. So, you know, instead of going through all that, I'll just pay the five. So I'm going to pay five. Because they can't, they're not going to outbid me because their max is five. So I paid my five. And I'm going to buy the Tuna license. So now I have this in my, my tableau. All right. So now he's going to buy one, so he'll buy the char because he can afford it. And he's going to buy one, so he'll buy this other char. So all three licenses were purchased. Um, we're going to put out three more. So we've got lobster, tuna, and Pacific oyster. Nice. All right, so I've got my tuna license, which now allows me to launch tuna boats. So now that the... Um, Auction phase is over, we're going to launch a boat and hire a captain. So I can launch one boat and hire one captain. So I'm going to launch a tuna boat. <clears throat> and the tuna boat is going to cost me one coin to launch. And I do have a coin here. So I'm going to I'll pay one coin from the king crab to, to launch this. And now I can play any card face down to captain it. So I'm going to captain my tuna boat. So now it's it's captained, and now for each of the uh, of my opponents, they're going to draw a card, and depending on what it is, so TC over here is going to draw one, and if it's two coins, he keeps it. He launches that boat, and Kirkman, if it's a one or a three, he launches that boat. So they each launched a boat. So that is the end of the launch and hire. And now it is the fishing. So you get one fish per captain boat. So I get to create a fish on my tuna boat. And this thing has a max of four. So it can hold up to four fish. So that ends the fishing phase. Now we'll process and trade, which we're going to skip because there's no processing vessels here. And then I get to draw two cards and keep one. So I draw two. I get swordfish and Pacific oyster. I'll probably... Hmm, that's interesting. Do I want to go after that? Swordfish is worth three bucks though, and I need the money right now because I'm short on cards, so I'll discard that one. So that's it. That ends the round. That's how that's how simple it is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, actually, I got this draw bonus, so I should have gotten two cards with the tuna. All right, so actually, I get to with the tuna bonuses, I get to draw two, keep two. So, and then if I get another tuna license, I get to draw three. But I have to discard one, so I draw three, keep two. And then draw three, keep three, draw four, keep three. So as I get more and more tuna licenses. So I don't know how many tuna licenses I want to go after, though. All right, so let's get into the next round. So these guys get bumped up to, to round two. And they have uh, now gone up to seven buck uh, max. So... First, um, first phase is, is is the auction, so I have to decide whether or not I want to buy another license. So I could buy. So remember now, they're going to go up to seven, right? So they're going to go after licenses. All right, so I think I'm going to pass on licenses this round. I only have three, four, five, six, seven bucks to spend, and their cap is seven, so I could easily get outbid here. Uh, as much as I'd want to get another license for tuna would be cool, but I'm going to let them go. So I'm going to pass. Um, so TC over here is going to take, so they have sort of an AI. They're going to go after um, any license they don't have. So he doesn't have any of these, but if you're tied, then you're going to take the one with the most victory points. So Pacific Oyster is worth four, so he's going to grab this one. And Kirkman is going to do the same. He doesn't have either, so he's going to take the one with the most victory points, but they're tied, so he's going to take the one closest to his play area, which would be Tuna. So they leave the lobster out. We fill in two. All right, so, so we have a higher crewman. So this is uh, 
this basically has uh, an effect. So I've got crewmen in the game. So that comes out. We'll fill in the board, and then we're going to put a crewman on each of these. All right. So I've got crewmen here, and each of these crewmen has different bonuses that they're going to give us. That you know may make certain licenses um, a little more attractive. Like it looks like he gives you a tugboat launch immediately, which is not bad. Um, draw three cards, discard one, use immediately, and then you get plus one license bonus level. So it would make this, like if I got this, he would make this a tuna level two license, which is nice. Use immediately, so it'd immediately go up. All right, so pretty good options out here. Um, but that's that ends our auction phase. So now we go into the launch phase. So I could launch a boat, but I don't have any more. I don't have any more boats to launch. I already tuna boats left, so I'm not launching, uh, <coughs> not hiring. So these guys are going to go. So again, he has to draw two. He does. He gets the lobster boat. He has to draw one or three. He doesn't. So this gets discarded. He doesn't launch any boats this round. So that's it. Now we fish. I get another crate of fish in my tuna boat. No processing. I get to draw two, keep two in the draw phase. So I get a, another oyster and another lobster boat, and that ends this round. So we're going to move on to round three. All right, so we're starting off at the auction and I have money, so I'm definitely going to buy a license and I'm not sure what I want. So I've got oyster, lobster, and tuna out here. I got a good number of oyster boats here, so that might not be a bad thing if I go after that. Um, yeah, I think I might do that. So it's worth four bucks. And they'll go up to seven. All right, so I could do. So if I bid four, he could raise it to five. He could raise it to six. I'd have to bid seven. So let me do that. I'm going to start out with the bid. So I'm going to bid four on the Pacific Oyster, right? So this is how it's going to work. I bid four, and Captain TC is going to decide whether or not he bids. So if he draws a two coin value boat then he's going to bid one right so remember I bid four he's gonna bid one so he bids up to five he's gonna get a chance to bid he rolls a one so he passes I bid up to six and he's still under his cap so he gets a chance to bid it up to seven and he does he bids it up to seven and I'm gonna bid eight and he's gonna drop out because he won't bid higher than eight so this cost me the absolute maximum it could possibly cost me, which was terrible. So three, four, five, six. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to cost me eight bucks to buy this Pacific Oyster. But I now have a license to, to uh, launch oyster boats, which is cool. And I get to get this crewman, which gives me this draw three, discard one. So I'm going to discard him, draw three, and I will discard the king crab. So that was a nice little bonus. So my bidding is over. These guys, they can't use them. So let's see if they take them though, right? So. TC goes first. He's going to go after the higher victory point if he doesn't have these. So he's got Char and Oyster. So they're both the same. He's going to take the Lobster. And he gets discarded because Lobster was closer to him. So now Kirkman's going to go after the Tuna. But he has Tuna, so he's going to pass. So this actually stays out here. And we'll refill. So now we've got King Crab. So these are the premium licenses. They're worth 10 bucks a pop. Oh, okay. So auction's over. Let's go to the launch now. So, if I have any Pacific Oyster boats, and I sure do, so I'm going to launch, I get to launch a boat, and now I have to captain it. I'll captain it with a lobster. Right, so there's my launch. These guys get to go. If he gets a two, he doesn't, he doesn't launch. If he gets a one or a three, he gets a three, so he launches a swordfish boat. Uh, now we're going to fish. 
So now I get one tuna, and the way the Pacific Oyster boats go is I get, they have a capacity of six instead of four, and I get two, so I can put one here and one on my license that I can use as a buck later. Or I think I could put them both on my, uh, on my ship. So they're a nice way to get, to get a lot of crates quickly. So this gives me some extra spending power, I think that's what I want to do. So fishing is over, uh, no process and trade, I'll get to draw some, I get to draw two. And keep two, so I get lobster and king crab. Alright, so that is that. Alright, end of that round. We're going to go to round four. The uh, Their bid max just went up to $8. So let's go on to the next round. Alright, so we are in round four in the auction phase, and I only have one, two, three, four, five bucks to spend. So that's. Oh, you know what? I forgot to pay two bucks for to launch that ship. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll pay a lobster now, so that should bring us back. The cost to launch is up top. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. So, <clears throat> I clearly don't have enough money to, to, to bid on anything. So I'm going to pass. Uh, these king crabs are a min cost of 10, so they're going to be above their, their maximum bid. So they're not going to buy either of those. But TC is going to get a shot at the tuna, right? So the tuna license is a cost of 5. And he only has char, oyster, and lobster, so he's going to want to buy that tuna, right? So he's definitely going to buy it. So this is going to go away. He's going to buy the tuna, and he's going to pass because he can't afford either of those king crabs. And now swordfish comes out for next turn. Very nice. All right, so that's the end of our auction. Uh, we have the launch phase, and I think I'm going to launch a Pacific oyster boat. You know, for two. Pay the lobster, and then I'll captain it with my last card. So I'm fully tapped out right now. Remember, I still have a dollar there. Now, any 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 uh, crates I put here at the end of the game are not worth any victory points. So I can either put them both here or one and one. And this one I'm already going to four. It's just it's got to be used as money. It's the only way it can be used. So, all right. So that's my launch. Let's see if these guys launch. So if he gets a two and he doesn't, if he gets a one or a three and he doesn't, so I didn't launch any boats that round. And now we fish. So remember one and my tuna. So my tuna boat is actually full now. I can't get any more fish there. And we're gonna get two per. So I'll take one and one and put two more here. So that is the end of the fishing. And now I get to draw up two cards and keep two. So I got a Pacific oyster and a lobster. And that ends the draw phase. So End of the round, we go to round five, and we start with the auction again. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bucks. These guys have a maximum of eight still, so they're not going to buy any of them. They are going to try to buy this. So one, two, three, four, five, six bucks to get the swordfish license if I want it. And I'm not sure I do. I may. I may not, so I may let them go after that. All right, I'm gonna pass. You know, he's definitely gonna buy the swordfish. He's gonna pass again, and we get more crewmen out. All right, so let's see what we've got. The tug. Uh, all launched and captain boats of this type get plus one fish during the fishing phase. That's nice. And. Draw three, discard one. So that's not bad. So, the Pacific Oyster and those King Crabs. So, that is that. Now I can go to launch. I do have another Pacific Oyster boat. Hey, what the heck? Why not? Let's launch another one. <laughs> I'm going to pay two with my two crates. Now, these don't go back in the pot, they go out of the game. Right? They're gone. Um, so I paid two to launch it, and I'll use my last card, my lobster boat, to, to captain it, right? So there's my launch. Let's see if TC gets one, and he does. He launches a lobster boat. And Kirkman, he doesn't launch anything. All right, so that's it for the launch. Now we'll fish. 
Remember my tuna boat's full. I'll take one on each and three onto my license. And I get some four extra bucks to spend. Uh, remember these have a capacity of six instead of four, so I can keep I can keep getting oysters. So I got some money. I draw up my two cards, keep two. Let's see, we get char and swordfish, so I got five bucks. And the turn on to round six. They just went up to nine dollar max. So let's see how this turns out. All right, so I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bucks. Can't buy the king crab, but I can buy another Pacific oyster license, which would give me a capacity of eight. Now I'm not really at that point that I would need that, but I could try. You know what? I can try. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to bid. I'm going to bid on the Pacific Oyster. I'm going to bid four. I'm going to start at the lowest bid. Four, right? Let's see if TC bites. He does. He brings it up to five. Uh, how about Kirkman? He passes. I bid it up to six. TC bids it up to seven. I bid it up to eight. He passes. So I pay eight. <sighs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I just paid eight bucks. Those go out of the game. These go out. I do get the Pacific Oyster license, so now I have two licenses. So that just brings my boat capacity to eight. Uh, use this immediately. Draw three, discard one. So I will draw three. And I will discard this char. All right, so that's it for me. Uh, we are, they are still at nine, so they can't afford these yet, but next turn they will be able to buy those. All right, so we end the auction phase. We go to the launch. I have nothing to launch. TC does not launch, and Kirkman does launch, so he launches a swordfish. Alright, and now we fish. So I'm going to drop one, two, three, and one, two, three. Alright. And that's the end of fishing, no processing, and I get to draw two, keep two. So two Pacific Oyster boats. And that ends this round. We go on to round seven. Their max bid just went up to 11. All right, so I can either go after one of these king crab licenses or a lobster license. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars to spend. So I'm going to have to pass. So by me passing, he is going to go right after the King Crab license, and Kirkman's going to do the same. They're going to scoop them right up. And that's fine. Alright, so it ends the auction phase. We get to launch. Can I launch another Pacific Oyster boat? I sure can. So I'll launch that for two bucks, and I will captain it with my king crab because I can't get that license apparently they that's all these guys want to do is crab and I am done hiring and launching these guys will try so if he gets a two nope if he gets a one or a three yes so he launched the Pacific Oyster so their launch is done my launch is done we will fish I get one two, three, and that's it for the fish. So that ends the game, but this is the last round, so you get to take basically beyond the max for the last round. So I put on one, two, three, four, and then I'll do one, two, three, four for the last round, right? So that's it. These aren't going to be worth anything. All right, so I've done my fishing. No process, no trade. Draw two, keep one. Draw two, keep two. 
Those are the last two, right, in my hand. So that is the end of the game. Now we have to tally up the scores. And it's pretty quick when there's only 25 crates of fish, right? So let's see how many points we have. All right, let's get to the scoring now. So we'll clear this stuff off the table so we have some room here, right? So let's score the captain. So let's go with with TC, right? So they're going to score um, their purchase licenses, premium license bonuses, their boat card VPs. So this is what they launched, right? And their fishing VPs. And fishing would be as if they launched all of these and max capacity to fish them, right? So they've got, um, so we'll do him next. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Plus five is twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, and if these were all max capacity, twenty-two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Plus twelve is forty. Right, so he's got forty points. Let's see where he goes. So he's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty six, thirty six, thirty six. 40 and 36. And I've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6, 37. 37. 36, 37, 40. Super close. So I went the Pacific Oyster route and it didn't quite pay off. I think I emptied the fish supply a little too quick with all these Pacific Oysters and I may, which may have cost me the game. But I think that's, well, I think that's pretty much. So that's the game. Um, <laughs> it's close, but my strategy was a little bad. But I like the Pacific Oysters. You, you get a lot of stuff quickly. I like the fishing part of it. I don't know. But um, pretty cool. Definitely uh, a lot of variety. So you, you basically you, you build the uh, the license deck so that towards the end, a lot of the you know the premiums aren't going to start coming out, like the Canadian DFO, for example, which gives you all sorts of crazy bonuses. And um, you know, there's definitely um, Definitely a lot to it, so it's it's pretty cool, pretty cool game. I do like it. So uh, again, I'm always I'm always big in any type of quick solitaire game. This one's definitely quick to go up. The the, the play time is thirty to forty five minutes. So um, as you can see, it's pretty fast paced. You just and there's really the AI is pretty simple. It's it's one or the other. Uh, even in a two player game, you add one of these captains to be the third to kind of just to spice up the the auction rounds a little bit, which is because it's not just you against the other player, so that's pretty cool. Um, but otherwise, you know, this is this is Fleet uh, Arctic Bounty. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. It was pretty quick, but uh, and it hopefully it gave you a good feel for you know what the game has to offer and how it flows. And um, hope you enjoyed it. So as as always, please leave any uh, rules corrections you've noticed in the in the comments, and I'll hope see if I can get some. Um, I can make some uh, notations in the video to, to point those out so that folks don't get confused. But otherwise, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and I uh, will see you in the next video.